Welcome back to One Fair Review, everybody. I'm your host, as always, Grant. And hell, ladies and gentlemen, it is Halloween. Or whatever day I decide to upload this. Or whatever day I decide to even record this. At one point, it's going to be Halloween is my point. And I love Halloween. So much so that I decided to not make any Halloween-related videos this year. But that's really neither here nor there. The most important thing about Halloween, in my opinion, is watching some horror stuff. Now, I'm not talking about necessarily just jump scares for you to get a quick little creep. I'm talking about disturbing stuff. And that's what I'm here to do today. I'm here to hopefully give you guys a few tips, a few tricks, certainly a few tricks, to spot the best horror stuff. Now, follow me along because this is going to get kind of complicated. Number one rule when it comes to horror, no jump scares. And you may think like, oh, that's kind of a dumb rule. But I'm serious. No jump scares. Number two, you need to be disturbed. Number three, there is no number three, but I'm sure as we go along, you'll get an idea of what kind of horror-related stuff I like to view. Uh, although I'm pretty sure some people already know what kind of horror I love to view. You could just go on any social media account that I have and automatically you will have all the information that I have ever spewed the bullshit that comes out of my mouth. I'm getting off topic here. I'm talking about anime, by the way. You know, there's a lot of horror in, in Japanese media. There is a ton. Uh, you know, Japanese media is actually famous for a lot of things. Number one is gore, and number two is horror. Horror is a huge part of Japanese media, mainly because there's so many horror stories. You ever notice that? You ever hear the folklores from Japan? It's some scary stuff they have. And, you know, um, you know, Japan is just filled with all these horror stuff. So, naturally, they're going to have a lot of horror-related media. And some of my favorite movies of all time, horror, what, a, what may have you, uh, have come out of Japan. There's just so many of them. And not just, of course, movies, but of anime. There's actually quite a few horror-related anime. They're not as often as I'd like. Definitely, you know, year-round seasonal anime, you'll find a few horror-related things. I mean, the last horror-related anime I watched currently was A Promised Neverland. And uh, that might be a spoiler, but yes, that's what, uh, that's what it was. That was the last horror-related anime I watched. And I'd love to see more. Believe me, they got some great stuff, some disturbing stuff. And if you know one thing about Japanese storytelling, there's never a happy ending. So today, I wanted to talk about my top five recommendations. These are my top five favorite horror anime. This isn't the top five best horror anime. These are just my top five recommendations for all of you to check out. You guys, you can check this out during Halloween. You can check this out after Halloween. Really, I don't care. As long as you check them out or you just listen to me talk about it. Other way, either way, I should say, your choice. Don't You don't even need to listen to these recommendations if you don't want to. Now, before I start with the top five list, because I will give you top five in no particular order. They're just there on my list. Before I start, not all of the best horror-related anime will be on my list. Will be on the top five recommendations. And uh, that's, that's not a bad thing. You know, some of you will look at this list and be like... That's not what I agree with. I, I definitely expected this anime to be on the top five recommendations of horror anime list. And you know what? That's okay. Everybody has their own opinion. You know, we're all different people. We come from different areas of the world. We all have our difference of opinion. But there's one rule that we must always obey by and we should always just know as a pure fact. That all other opinions are wrong except my own. Alright, so let's get into this. Alright, so at number 5, I wanted to start off with something pretty crazy. Hell Girl, from 2005, 2006, and 2008. Now, you guys might be wondering, what do you mean from all these different years? Well, it's different shows, if you will, or seasons, whatever you want to call it. Each of them having around 26 episodes. And uh, I think the less I talk about this, the better. Which is kind of weird, because this is my number 5. And unfortunately, this is the one I'm going to talk the least about. But this is a series by Studio Dean. Yes, believe it or not, Studio Dean is a competent studio. They have not, they weren't the only ones, they haven't just made one terrible anime, which I'm not even going to mention, but they actually have made good stuff. Hell Girl being one of them. 
Uh, Hell Girl is a very interesting show. I think I've talked about it before. Maybe not. Maybe I have. But it is a very interesting show. Very creepy. Very disturbing. Its concepts. Its ideals. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything because I want everybody to go into this show blind like I did. The show can be a little bit too disturbing for me sometimes. Uh, there, It touches upon subjects that I feel particularly uncomfortable with, but that is great in terms of storytelling. I always welcome that. The thing that really puts this show on my recommendation list is the atmospheric tone that is within it. it its atmosphere is just amazing. It, it just creates this very, just like, tension-filled atmosphere and it's just very creepy very disturbing and that's a very common theme with most uh, you know horror anime just making you feel so disturbed and i really like that aspect about this show it, it is a very unsettling show not one that i would recommend you ever watch on date night not one that i'd recommend you watch to people who are sensitive to horror related aspects uh, this is an interesting show and unfortunately like i said i'm not going to spoil anything Go into this show, one of the shows, I mean, really it doesn't matter if you go out of order, no skin off my bones. Go into this series, watch it, you know, it, it will give you a lot of feelings, it will make you very emotional, not necessarily crying, but it will make you think. And I think that's the core element to a horror movie, it needs to make you think. For number four, I thought I would go with something a little bit more anime, a little something a little bit more what people are accustomed to. School Live from 2017, and that is from Lurche. Now, this studio has done is behind such great series, Monster Masube, uh, Asayo Asobes, even the Carnival Phantasm series. You know, Carnival Phantasm. Anyone even know what that is? Probably not, but it's a great show, and uh, and, and yeah. I'm not. I'm also not going to mention their most famous work, just so that I could screw with you guys. You can figure it out on your own terms. But they've done a lot of great shows, and uh, so they were behind School Live back in 2015. This was a show that I had no context about going into it. And uh, to give you a brief summary, if I could, it's about a club where there's a bunch of girls and they do activities and they live in their school with nobody else around. The unfortunate truth behind this show is that even having this show on my list gives away what the show's about. Not having any context about what this show was going to be when it first came out, I didn't see anything on it. The opening made it seem completely different than what it was, and then the ending, realization of, oh my gosh, this is what the show's about, which I will say this, it is a zombie show. That is what School Live is. It's, everybody knows it, but it is a fantastic show. Obviously, I love zombies, so I was very much into this show when it first came out. I was on top of it while it was airing it's a fantastic show it's got great gore it's got great psychological thrills it's got great zombies it's got great atmosphere it is honestly a very traditional zombie story-esque but with its own twist and its own kind of japanese things to go with it the animation in particular is also just very good uh, every, everything looks great. Uh, subtle differences in the background is something I'd always pay attention to, and I suggest people pay attention to the background. You know, it always looks good. The characters' designs are also very nice. All the girls are very sweet and, uh, dare I say, a little bit innocent. Uh, but overall, it's just about these high school girls who are kind of just stuck in a horrible situation. It's a great horror series, and I definitely recommend everybody to check it out. As we move on through this list, let's go back even further, guys. Elfin Lead, from 2004, by Arms. Yes, Elfin Lead. This is another show I think I've talked about before, maybe mentioned it, but uh, I really haven't gone too in-depth in it, and I probably won't do it here either, because I would like to keep things secret. To give you guys a brief summary, Lucy is a special breed of human, Born with short pair of horns and invisible telekinetic hands that lands her as a victim of inhumane scientific research by the government. However, once circumstances present her an opportunity to escape, Lucy, corrupted by the confinement and torture, unleashes a torment of bloodshed as she escapes her captors. Elfin Lead is a great show. It is a great series. Uh, definitely a good example of horror anime and gore effects. That is something I have to give Elfin Lead. It was always a 
not so much a disturbing show to watch, but it was always an inventive show to see just the kills a lot of the time. But also the story is, in and of itself, it is a really good story with its dark themes. And like I said, disturbing as all hell. That is one thing that is always being common with this list. All the shows I talk about are going to be disturbing. And that is the real, true factor of a horror series. It needs to be disturbing. Elfin Lead is a great show with good animation. It's not amazing. Obviously, especially by today, it might be a, a tad dated. But if you're okay with that, I mean, you really shouldn't have a problem. It's animation. Animation very rarely ages poorly. It, it, at, at, at worst, Lucy can be a little slow. But other than that, Lucy, Elfin Lead can be a little slow. Other than that, it's a terrific show with a great memorable soundtrack, might I add. The opening in particular is fantastic. The atmospheric tone is great. All the atmospheric music as well is also fantastic. Definitely a show I would recommend you watch on Halloween. For number two, I, I thought I'd uh, put something a little bit different. Ghost Stories, made in the year 2000 by Studio Pirat. Yep, yep, yep. That is, uh, yes, for all of you who know Ghost Stories, you already know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't know what Ghost Stories is, you're about to find out. So let's get to the story summary. Years ago, all of the ghosts in a haunted schoolhouse were banished by a certain student. Now they're back and they want revenge. That's all I'm going to give away. Ghost Stories is an interesting anime. Why? Well, because this was an anime originally written for kids. This is a this is kind of like a Scooby-Doo-esque type show where kids, each episode is kind of like a monster of the week situation. There's a new ghost, new story, and the kids have to find out what's going on. And uh, yes, like I said, this was written for kids, so it's a very childish kind of uh, innocence to it. But at the same time, the animation behind this, uh, the studio that did the animation for this, is so darn creepy, no kids would watch this show. This show has quite a long history, got many complaints by parents saying that this, this show was too scary for little kids. And they immediately just ran into problems and they wanted to make a season 2 but unfortunately never could get the funding to it, especially after all the complaints and the, dare I say, controversy behind it. And the problem with it being too, uh, I guess you could say, scary for kids is that the show's writing wasn't good enough for it to capture, like, a teenager's, you know, interest or adult's interest. Because, like I said, this is a child script. This is a script written for children. So, obviously, an adult wouldn't be that interested into it. And the kids can't watch it because it's too dang scary. So, what could they have done? Well, they did the only thing they could do, and uh, they gave up. <laughs> so they, they gave up on this show, didn't go further than a season one. But they during when they were outsourcing it to be dubbed into English in particular, I'm talking about the English dub right now, and hear me out because this is important. When they were outsourcing this to a, a studio to dub it in English, they pretty much said, do whatever you want. This made us no money. <laughs> Make us some money somehow. So the studio, who was in charge of the dub, made sure to write a bunch of crap, get a general sense of what the plot of the show, as well as the individual stories, episodic stories were, write whatever the hell you want, and then they got a bunch of actors and actresses to just blurt out whatever. And in it is one of the funniest dubs you will ever hear. This may be on the list of top 10 worst dubbings in anime, but honestly, it's one of the top 10 best dubbings in anime. Because unlike other dubs, which could be generic or just painful to listen to, they don't have the same effect, and in and of itself, they are dubs, so they are already inferior to the original product. Ghost Stories does something original, does something more creative, and just says, fuck it, we're just going to do whatever we want. A lot of this is just ad libs from the actors themselves who are doing it, and then a lot of it, and then the majority of it is just written by the writers to just do whatever they want, come up with their own stories. Everything is bull bullshit in this in this anime in the English dub. None of it's to be taken seriously. It is a comedy, and it is gold. I definitely recommend if you're going to watch Ghost Stories, watch it with the English dub because it is a lot more fun and it is a lot funnier to watch. 
However, if by the, on the off chance that you decide not to watch this with the dub, how is the anime in and of itself? Well, it, it, is, it is not bad, but it's not good. I could definitely see why kids were horrified by this anime. I mean, there are certain monsters that's like, oh, how can you show that to kids? But I can also see why no adults would be interested. The script is nothing special. It is essentially a kid's show, and it's not a particularly good one to begin with. It's very generic, kind of boring, uh, except for when the horror elements actually come in. To, which, by the way, the horror, at the, atmospheric, the atmosphere that this show creates, the tension... The horror, the monsters, all of it is very scary to begin with, so I have to say it's actually really good anime when it comes to horror stuff, but it's just, it just, the story's terrible behind it. However, if you watch the English dub, it's a fun ride, it's really funny, definitely one of those sh shows that you have to watch either high, uh, like a kite, or just completely drunk as a skunk, so I definitely recommend watching this show during Halloween, because why not? It's ghost stories. Getting back to anime, of course. Good anime, that is. Uh, for my number one spot, this isn't number one because it's the best horror-related anime. Don't get me wrong. Uh, like I said, this this is not in order. This is not even supposed to say that these are the best. These are just my recommendations from stuff that I've watched, and even these aren't my favorite horror-related anime. They are just ones that I would recommend. Getting back to it, another from 2012 by PA Works. Uh, this is a very, very famous anime. I'm sure many people already know about it. But to give you a story summary, in 1972, a popular student in the Yomiyama North Middle School's class 3-3 named Misaki, passed away during the school year. Since then, the town of Yomiyama has been shrouded by a fearful atmosphere from the dark secrets hidden deep within. Alright, how do I start with this one? Very famous anime. Another is a very famous anime. A lot of people will say it's one of the scariest. I beg to differ, but that's my own opinion. Uh, another is another one of those... Uh, oh my god, this is going to be hard. This anime, Another, is an example of great atmosphere. That's one thing I always find key to horror movies. You need to have a great atmosphere, great horror atmosphere to go along with the movie. Because if, if the movie or show, if the show is just shot in normal, everyday life Japan, it's not that scary. Uh, many horror movies or horror shows have to follow the trend of making it seem a little bit unnatural for you to really just be... In a t just be in the most tense mood possible. And another is a good example of that. It's got great atmosphere, it's got a great soundtrack to back it up, and fantastic animation. Uh, now, would I say it's the best animated show on this list? Uh, probably, but I'm not going to say it because people might hate me, and we all know that I hate it when people hate me. But, nonetheless, this is a show that I'd recommend to anybody, mainly because it's got that great atmosphere, it's got great story and characters to go along with it, there's just so much good behind this. And this is another show that I am not going to spoil anything about. I want you guys to go into this series. Just just think whatever. It, it could be J Jason for all you know. It could be Jason Voorhees behind this. We don't know. I mean, just, just go into it. Watch it. It's a great show. Alas, that is it for my horror anime-related episode. I might do another one. Who knows? Maybe I might review a horror anime. I don't think I've done one ever, which is kind of bizarre because I love horror. But yeah, those, these are my top five recommendations. Again, I want to say this to everybody. These are not the best horror anime that exists. Uh, maybe a few of them are. These are just my recommendations. These are ones that I specifically chose from atmospheric tones alone uh, and, uh, you know, the stories that inhabit them, except for ghost stories that I, I just pulled completely right out of my ass. You know, these were ones that I just chose because I was like, these this would fit the mood for Halloween. There are other ones that are much scarier. There are other ones that just have horrifying things in them, even ones that I just can't personally watch fully myself. But take that for what it is. These are my recommendations. If you guys decide to see them, please come back to this video and leave a dislike. I mean a like. And tell me in the comments how much you hated it. I mean how much you love it. Because clearly my opinion is always the correct one. Don't forget. And clearly, um, I am never wrong, and you guys should never question what I do. Anyways, I'm Grant from Fairview. I was a host at one point, and uh, now I might be returning back to the grave because 
uh, the, I, I don't I don't plan on making another video until um, until 2021. So this is uh, this is the end is what I'm trying to say. For those of you asking about Alex, why he wasn't here today, um, Alex doesn't like horror. Yeah, I know he's a he's a little bit of a uh, I can't say that word anymore on YouTube, but he's a little bit of a you know what, and I think you do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, because you you should. Uh, as always, I'm Grant Fuan Fairview. I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.